there guys welcome to episode 16 of nectar nitty chats you are joining me from my squeaky bedroom i apologize that's our old floors that are just kind of squeaking away i am recording this while my partner is working i was off and he had a work for the holiday weekend so i'm just sneaking in a video while i can um Thanks so much for being here. Um, like I said, so my name is Bree. I live in Baltimore. This is my corner of YouTube where I talk about my different knitting projects. I am so grateful you took the time to watch this video, whether you are a first time watcher or a returner. Thank you so much for being here. I really appreciate it. I love talking about my projects here so that I can kind of get it out and not bombard my loved ones with constant chatter about knitting, which I feel like most folks here, or if you're watching, you probably get that. But I apologize, my lighting today is only like okay because this is kind of the setup that I had to work with. So uh, anyway, let's get going. So today I'm just gonna kind of do like a more traditional format since it's been a couple weeks and I have a couple finished projects. I'm going to talk about what I'm currently working on, a few things that I made that I don't have with me but I'll post pictures of, and I think it'll be a quick one. So just a quick, quick check-in. So, oh, I forgot one of my projects. I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. So I had to get one of my projects. Oops! Dropped a yarn ball. So my first project, which you've probably figured out, is a, it's what I'm wearing and it's a finished object. So I am wearing my Lento sweater, uh, which is made with, oh, that's coming up. Okay. There we go. It's like this really deep blue. It's, it's coming up so yellow right now and you can see it's this oh there we go it's this really airy fabric which is why as I'm stretching out you can kind of see my skin a little bit so the lento there is a lento knit along happening with the crea bea, um Rebecca from the crea bea and Amy Palco from the meaningful stitch I love their content and so I saw Rebecca's Lento and saw that she was doing a cowl and I was really excited because it is a really cute raglan sweater with a folded neckline um, that you that has a really open airy gauge and so I knit this sweater with under two skeins under 200 grams of a uh, cashmere sock from Sorella in the color velvet, which is this like beautiful deep blue. And I use like un probably under 150 grams of, I need to measure it, of the Labian Ami mohair. Uh, sorry, I had to, I don't know why that took a while to get out in the color Winterfell. It has created the most luxurious, um, the most comfortable sweater. I definitely could see myself knitting this project again. So I'll stand up. So it's hitting, I, I knit it a little cropped. I probably could have gone longer, story of my life, but it's hitting me pretty, I mean, my jeans are here. So it's hitting me below my jeans. Like I started the ribbing just after it hit my jeans line. And I, my sleeves definitely could have been longer. I was, so I, it's tough cause the cashmere sock is super wash. And so I knit this expecting the super wash to grow. And to be honest, I don't think it really did because I think of the mohair. And so, um, I have plenty of yarn that I definitely could extend the sleeves. Uh, that being said, for work, it kind of works out well because I don't have anything around here. So it's 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 kind of tough. It's like that in between where if it's almost bracelet length, it's almost full length. And so it kind of is in between. But that being said, 
I love this sweater. I've been getting a ton of wear out of it. I think I'll probably pull it a lot in the coming months as it warms up because it is so light, but it's still warm. So I love it. I, I can't at any time I'm wearing it. I just do this the whole time. It's so soft. I, this mohair, I can't say enough good things about. And the color of the sweater is just so beautiful. I've gotten a lot of wear out of it already and it looks great. I mean, you know, there's no pilling, nothing. Um, it's holding up really well. So two thumbs up for me. I definitely really like it. I think the Lento, the Let's Lento Knit Along is going through March 1st. And so still not a lot of time, but a little bit of time to cast yours on if you want. I definitely see myself revisiting this pattern in the future. Just a great uh, option for if you have a couple skeins of, of hand dyed or like a really special yarn that you maybe thought so for this I was like oh it's not gonna be quite enough for a sweater I don't want to spend this much money to make a sweater so it's really nice to have a pattern that I can pull from that it's like a little yardage goes a long way it's still a very luxurious sweater because the mohair I think was I lucked out and got one skein for $15 from Scrap Be More, but normally it retails for $40. And so I had to buy a second skein um, for $40. And then, you know, so, and then also the Sorella yarn, which is, is understandably, it is worth it uh, because it is a small business that hand dyes their yarn, but it's expensive. I mean, there's just no, no way around it. So that is my first finished object and what I'm wearing, which is the Lento. I would be so curious if you have knit one yourself, how your experience has been, if you have a favorite traditional raglan pattern. I definitely uh, would like to make a few more just kind of basic sweaters like this. And I have a few that I talked about in my last podcast, which was all about kind of my goals, uh, my knitting goals for this year. Um, I have a, a couple other finished objects that have been, I've been working on for a long time and it is my, I'm so basic socks. They don't look that great right now because I have been wearing them a lot, but here is sock one. So you can kind of see that it's been on my foot um, already like where my heel was and everything like that. So this is the I'm So Basic Sock by Summer Lee Knits. It is a free pattern. I highly recommend it if you've never knit socks before. It's a vanilla sock with a heel flap and gusset, which I really enjoy and it's really sturdy and this yarn was great to work with. So this is the West Yorkshire Spinners signature four ply and the color pheasant which created this uh self-striping so the socks are just slightly off silly me if I had I think it was like this one if I had just cut like this blue yarn out then the I would have had two exactly matching socks but I just didn't even pay attention and to be honest I don't really care but good to know in the future. I still have a lot of it left. I don't have enough to make another full pair, but maybe some shorties. I've never made shorties before. So maybe I'll do that, but I'm so happy with these. And these are definitely my favorite so far. I went, I cast on the smallest size and then my, I went down to 44 stitches for my foot because my foot is pretty narrow. I think in the future, I would go down to maybe like 48. So I put, took notes for myself to remember that because 44, it was kind of like, it definitely fits, but it's kind of like maybe a little too much negative ease. Um, but I love these. They look great on, they look like I just bought them out of a store. So I'm super into these. Definitely recommend again, it's the I'm So Basic pattern by Summerlee Knits. I saw she's in the process 
of writing a book. Um, and that is definitely a book that I would buy. I've really, I really enjoy following her, but also she just does so many different sock patterns. So I think it would be fun to branch out a little bit. That being said, I, I haven't gotten tired of vanilla socks. I actually cast on a pair of DK for Steve and then I had to take them out because it turns out they were going to be way too big. And that was just like the crazy sock lady pattern. But yeah, so I really love those. I will pop a pattern of the, I mean, sorry, pop a picture of them here, uh, um, what they look like on. So yeah. My next tiny finished objects were the Hector's bonnet and which is by Russ Knitwear and the baby hug booties, uh, which I was a free pattern that I found. So I will pop a picture of those in here. So Steve and I had our nephew born um, and he is, you know, he's here, he was born last week and we're really happy he's here. So I really wanted to knit up some stuff for him. I had already made a baby blanket for him, but I hadn't made some other things. So I saw that Simone had released the Hector's bonnet and I just love the simplicity of the garter stitch. It was such a fun, such a quick project used. I still have like half a skein left and I made the bonnet and the two booties. I, so I think I still have like of a fifth, it was a 50 gram skein too. I think I still have probably like 20, 25 grams left. So didn't hardly use any yarn at all. So definitely a great scrap buster and a really cute little set. I modified the baby hug booties to have a garter, um, cuff, but that was the only modification that I made because I just wanted there to be some consistency between the bonnet and the cuff. I have plans to make the baby joyous cardigan, which is a garter stitch cardigan for our nephew. Um, and so we, I'm kind of waiting to see like how big he is and like also should I make one now or should I wait until the fall? What size am I gonna get? Cause we haven't met him yet. And so I am looking forward to that. And it's also garter stitch and I think it'll look really cute. I, I wanna do it also in a different yarn because I used for this set, I used the Fiber Co savannah dk which is a discontinued yarn and it is a wool cotton linen blend which i thought would be good since it's warming up and it's really 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 soft and it's in this really cute denim blue color but it is not super wash and with for a bonnet and booties i'm kind of like whatever like his little feet aren't even going to be touching the ground very much in his booties yet because he's so little and for the bonnet and but for a cardigan I definitely want it to be super washed I want it to be as easy for them to care for as humanly possible so I am kind of I, I I have some stuff in stash that I want to poke around and see what works um and I want it to coordinate too so I still want it to m match maybe but not be like exact it's not going to be that exact blue so maybe like a cream or some other color like a gray that would go glow good go well with the blue like I have a nice dark gray DK that I think would look nice anyway so I also made him a little ribbed beanie which I'll pop a picture of here and I modified the Loppet beanie by Wooly Bear Knits as well as her Wildwood decrease method for that hat I would do that again, except for I would pretty much just follow the Wildwood beanie, but use the cast on numbers from the Lappet uh, in order to make it work. Um, because I don't think the Wildwood beanie comes in baby sizes. I just followed that decrease method in order to create something that kind of looks good without a pom pom. Because he's so little, I didn't want a pom pom weighing down his hat and pulling it off his head um since he's still got a teeny little old noggin but yeah so that was really fun i definitely see myself knitting more baby knits in the future they're just so fun and so satisfying you get to do like i loved the hector's bonnet because you get to do short rows 
and I love short rows. I think they're so fun and so just like satisfying. And it was really fun doing those on like this tiny little bonnet. Um, really, really, really loved it, that. So, and then you finish it off with eye cord. So it's just like simple, thoughtful, but looks so clean and finished, which I really love. So big kudos to Rust Knitwear on that pattern. Um, I definitely would knit baby patterns of hers in the future. I would knit any of her patterns, to be honest. I love her work. And then finally, my work in progress. So I finished those socks, which was great. But my big work in progress has been this sweater. This is the, sorry, I'm trying to reduce the squeaking. All right, we live in an old, old, old row home, so the floors are very squeaky. So I am knitting the Clubhouse Raglan by Two of Wands for my sister. And it is a hoodie pattern. So, and I've, I've made some big strides. So I think last time I checked in, I hadn't finished the hood. So the hood is finished, which is so clever. Um, I'll put some footage in of, you know, when I finish the hood, but it's, it's really clever. I won't say it's a paid for pattern, so I won't really say how it's done, but I think it is the, honestly, the reason it isn't rounded is more my failure of uh seaming it not the pattern because as you can see the pattern did a good job of like rounding it so really mine should be like more like this so it's like a nice rounded corner and uh in the pattern she has you finishing off the edges I had Nevaeh try this on and Nevaeh liked the hood as was so I probably will finish off this maybe with like this bottom part with eye cord or something to make it a little more clean. I don't know. I haven't figured that out. So it, to be honest, it doesn't look bad if I just weave in that end. That looks all right, actually. I don't know. I might do something there to kind of reinforce it a little bit. And then I have finished one, two sleeves finished two sleeves. So now I'm just on the sea of stockinette body. So actually I can try this one. Oh, you know what? I can't try it on because it will fall off the needles. So anyway, this is it so far. I'm making this in the wool ease yarn in forest heather which is, I'm just not going to show up well here. No, it's all right. It's this really nice green. It's, it's soft. It's machine washable. My sister's 12. So that was the main thing is I wanted it to be machine washable. Actually, I could sit in it, which would be kind of nice. So it's machine washable, which was kind of the main goal. Um, Nevaeh tried it on and said it was a little itchy. So I'm hoping it I don't see it's funny for me I'm like oh this is so soft but I'm also used to wearing 100% wool so I am hopeful that after washing it'll soften up a little bit and with wear I really do think it'll soften up over time and I think it'll be good I still have quite a ways to go on the body so this is from the sleeve joint I'm actually pretty proud of my sleeve join. I picked up stitches and uh, extra stitches and knit them through the back loop. And so it's, it's a pretty clean join. So I'm really excited about that because normally my join is not very clean. And there is also on the side of the arms and the body a faux seam, which I've never done before. Uh, which has is really clever at first when I read there was like a faux seam I was like ugh, gross like that sounds like extra work I don't want to do that but it's really easy so I'm really enjoying that um but yeah I mean other than that I'll be honest I really really liked making the hood I thought it was very clever I love a raglan yoke so that has been good the sleeves are fine I mean they're stockinette sleeves but 
I am like bored out of my mind knitting this body. I know I need to just power through because it is just stockinette, but I definitely, I think after knitting the little baby things was getting like lots of like, oh my gosh, look, I knit this and I finished it the next day. Or like those little booties, like they knit up so fast. Like I was able to knit them in one sitting and they're a little fiddly, but it's so rewarding. I was like, oh my gosh, look how great these look and they're so cute. So then to then return to knitting, um, a large sweatshirt and stockinette it's kind of I'm just not feeling as pulled to it I'm just not feeling as energized but I I, I want to really get it done because um I want to gift it and then I can cast on whatever I want after that it's getting also to the point where it's been really warm recently and that is great except for that it means less knitwear weather and so my next project I'm kind of torn between I had I wanted to knit the Dartmoor which I think I could knit pretty quickly in time to still wear it but also that is a Aran weight plus I'm gonna knit Aran weight plus uh plus uh, brushed all pack of silk, which is like a DK. So I swatched it and it works out perfectly, but it is going to be a very, very, very warm sweater. And so then it's like, I don't know. I have to decide if I'm going to do that next or if I might try and knit something a little bit lighter, like the home sweater v-neck which is also I mean it's a it's a worsted weight or Aran weight project but um will definitely be not quite as warm because it's a little more open it's a v-neck and it's got um split hem so I don't know I'm torn but the Dartmoor will knit up so fast so it's like I could probably just do both but I probably won't the Dartmoor probably will not get a lot of wear this season unless I go somewhere cold. So maybe I just tell Steve, let's go on vacation somewhere cold. We, I don't know, we'll see. So that is my knitting life right now. This was a pretty quick one because, you know, it's, it's, it's cruising along here, nothing too wild. I've applied for and not gotten accepted for a couple of test knits, but that's all right. Um, I am, there's definitely lots of projects out there I'm getting really excited about. Like, I recently bought the, um, what did I buy? The Semper Sweater V-neck uh, from the Knit Pearl Girl. And I bought some Jessie Made patterns when she was having a sale that I'm really excited about. And I don't know, so like I have lots and lots and lots of things I'm getting excited about. And I think the stockinette is really allowing me the opportunity to sit there and think about what I'm excited to knit next. Um, I also, I think this summer, I've told Steve I have several projects that I knit last summer that I'm just not totally thrilled with. And so I talked about them in my try on. I think I would like to set a couple weeks if or more, maybe a whole month aside to revisit projects that are either that need re-knit, like basically my Ripple bralette by Jessie Made needs completely reworked, um, or if I, or just fixed, like my Moonset tee, I think could use additional length in both sleeves and the um, body. So I don't think that would take very long for me to do it all. It's just a matter of basically taking out the, I, I think I it's, they're all finished in I cord. So I think I would um, take out the I cord and, and just knit more body. And then for the sleeves, either just completely re-knit them or you know and then the other thing I thought about is I got I, I shared I don't love the color 
And part of me wonders, like, do I try dyeing it? I'm pretty scared of what would happen if I did that, but I don't know. It could be interesting because I don't think the color suits me at all. Um, I think it's too, too similar to my skin tone. So, all right. That was a lot of kind of random knitting chat, but I am coming up on one year of the pod. So I am going to name it here on my next one. I'll be doing a giveaway. So I would love to hear in the comments what you would like to see in a giveaway. Notions, yarn, patterns. Um, what would you prefer now? Granted, I'm not, I've got a small audience and so I'm not being gifted uh, things. So I, I'm going to have to stay within a certain budget. So I what, but I love ideas of like what you would be interested in. I, I will say it outright. I'm not doing a sweater quantity of yarn. Um, but you know, I don't know, maybe like a sock set or I don't know. Would you want a special skein for my collection? Uh, I don't know. Cause I have lots of yarn that is beautiful that I may not use, but, or a gift card to a yarn shop. I don't know. Anyway, I'm naming it though. I'm going to do a giveaway and I would love to know what you think would be a great thing to receive in it. Awesome. I think that's all I have today. And thank you so much for being here. Please like and subscribe if you feel so called. And I would love to know what you're working on. Are you transitioning to spring knitting? summer knitting? Are you still hard winter knitting? Let me know because I'm definitely still in winter mode here. So and I don't predict that changing until probably April, but we'll see. All right. Have a good one. Thanks. Bye.